Alyssa. So today's video, I'm going to be doing another kind of sit down talking video with you guys. And I'm basically going to be talking about my new perspective on Jake Paul after watching um, Shane Dawson's series, like, In the Mind of Jake Paul. Like, Shane Dawson made the whole series about Jake Paul. I'm sure you've heard of it. But if you haven't watched any of them, definitely go check them out. And they're really interesting. And they're really long. And yeah, so Shane Dawson just uploaded the final episode of his eight-part series on Jake Paul last night and I watched it and I've watched the whole series. Um, it started on September 25th and ended yesterday so it's just a very interesting documentary. It's basically talking about all the different scandals and controversies that Jake Paul's been involved in and at first they started talking about is he a sociopath. But then the series like completely turned and started talking about more of the scandals and controversies about Jake Paul, not really that he was a sociopath and it was more about just letting everyone share their sides of the stories of all the different scandals that he's been involved in. Make sure to follow me on all my social media, like this video, um, can we get this video to 100 likes? Probably not, but let's do it because I don't even get like 100 views on my videos, but let's see how many likes this video can get. Can it get 100? Probably not. So Shane Dawson's Jake Paul series star aired, aired, I don't even know. He uploaded the first episode on September 25th, and it lasted all the way through October... What is the date? The 19th, October 18th, so it ended yesterday. It's an eight-part series. Just all of the videos are, like, 40 minutes long. Last Yesterday's episode was, like, a movie. It was, like, an hour and 45 minutes. It was insane. But they're all just talking about Jake Paul's controversies and scandals with, like, Alyssa Violet, um, FaZe Banks, and how his... Or, how Jake Paul's assistant was assaulted by FaZe Banks, they think, or whatever. And just all those different controversies. Um, the Martinez twins, just why everyone left Team 10, and stuff like that. I'm going to give you a little background. Um, I used to, like, watch Jake Paul a lot. Like, last year, I watched him a lot, like, a lot of his vlogs. And so, that was after Alyssa left. And I just, like, watched a ton of his vlogs. So, I know a little bit about Team 10 and, like the lifestyle and how crazy Jake was and how in, like how all of his pranks were insane and way too like far um, and there was no line to them and I watched some of Logan's vlog vlogs too and Logan's a lot like Jake. I never hated Jake but I definitely didn't think he was a good person and I always felt like Erica needed to get out of the situation with Jake and stuff you know and like I never approved Jake and Erica but um so yeah Bef my perspective before watching this series was Jake was a terrible person. He had no, like, boundaries. Um, he didn't know how to treat people right. He was abusive. That's what I thought. Alyssa and, like, Faze Banks said that he was abusive and abused him, or abused Alyssa and stuff like that. So that's what I thought, because I always thought of it as Alyssa was right, Jake Paul wasn't. And that was probably not the best mindset to go into things, because, like, everyone has a side to their story. So even if Alyssa says one thing, Jake Paul's gonna say something different and who knows who's right honestly we still don't know if one of them's lying like even after the series I still don't know like who to trust exactly after watching the series I have concluded that Jake Paul is not the monster that everyone thinks he is and he's also not a sociopath he does have feelings and I feel like Erica's a really good person for him like I used to not think Erica was good and I thought I was like oh Erica needs to get away from him she needs to end the relationship but now after watching the series, I really feel like Erica helps him in a way and keeps him sane, if that makes sense. They're really good together and without her, I don't think he would be able to function properly, like if you get what I'm saying. Um, and I just feel like Jake is not the monster that we all think he is because you only see like one side of him. You only see the YouTube crazy side, but you never see him like as himself, maybe like alone with his own friends and stuff and you never see him like just going through his daily life you just see him vlogging it so you never see him like not without a camera like if you do you guys get what i'm saying like there's probably two sides to him like youtube vlogger jake and then like normal jake who just does it when he's not vlogging and they're probably two different people pretty much and i feel like well he's probably still crazy like he's in his vlogs but i feel like he's more like normal and less crazy when he's not vlogging. He even said in the series that a lot of the pranks he does um, are fake. Like he tells the people who's doing the pranks on before he does the pranks. And I've watched a couple of his recent vlogs and the ones that the pranks he's done have really seemed like 
really, really fake. You can kind of tell that his videos are geared towards more younger kids who are going to believe that and, like, think that the pranks are real. But me being older, I guess, I can tell that they're fake and that they're not real and that they're all staged and planned. Um, so I don't think, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this, really, because this video is kind of more of a rant and just saying, like, I don't think he's as bad of a person as we all think he is, and I definitely have a lot more respect for him. Like, not a ton more, but, like, a little bit more, because he still does crazy things that no one should really do, but I feel like he is res a respectable person. Like, he's still a person, you still need to treat him with kindness, and you still need to be, like... He is a person, so. I really liked the series, and I really liked what Shane did with it, and I think it was a really great put-together series, and I was really excited for it. I didn't really know what it was going to be about, and I feel like it, he, Shane intended it to be about, like, sociopaths, but, like, after episode, like, what, five? That was, like, not, like, they didn't even talk about sociopaths anymore, like, they stopped doing that. Um, and I really liked how they added Alyssa in, like, I just really liked how they had her side of the story, and then they had Jake's side of the story, and just kind of everything balanced out and like so you got both sides of the stories and then you can just come to your own conclusion about it of what you think really happened and how Jake's not abusive I don't think he is I mean I don't know what happened in Team 10 but I don't think he's abusive he's a very caring person from what I saw cuz okay when I was watching the series so I watched like his vlogs and I'm like he's insane he doesn't stop talking like he's insane he's just like go 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 in the vlog, he was so much more chill and relaxed and just, like, real and genuine. And I was like, this is a totally different side from what I see in the vlogs to what I saw in Shane's series. And I was like, what the heck? This isn't even, like, the same person. But I also know that some of the crazy things he does is just for YouTube, you know, to get views. Because obviously, like, we all want views. Like, it, views means money. And, like, he's gonna want money so he's gonna do more crazier things to get views and then get money. Because that's how he gets paid. That's his job to entertain people and make people laugh and make funny jokes and pranks and whatever and the crazier prank you have the more people are going to click on that video which means the more views you're going to get so obviously in the nature of Jake he's going to just do the craziest stuff he can do always one-upping whatever he's done before so I do get that you know and I feel like he's toned it down a bit from like last year or like two years ago stuff like that with like Alyssa and stuff and I just feel like he's realize a little bit more that he needs to tone it down a bit. I don't really know what this video was, but that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna stop talking now because, um, yeah. So I don't really know what this video was meant to be. F like, this video was just, like, really random, and I don't know why I really filmed it, but... But I hope you guys enjoyed my little rant about Jake Paul and how he's really not who we all think he is, I guess. And I'm just... Like, I really like this series, and I'm so excited for Shane's next series, because the last two series, the one about Jeffree Star and the one about Jake Paul, has been, like, the best series, like, ever. So, I'm really excited for the next series, because I'm really excited to see who he does it on. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!